Hi, good morning. Happy Saturday. It's a glorious Saturday. Yeah, it's already up to like 84% humidity, so that's awesome. But I bought a new fruit to try since the last one was so weird. Uh, many of you may have already tried this. I have not. I don't know if they're ripe. I don't know anything about them except Publix had them on sale two for four yesterday. And I was like, well, hey, let's try it. I don't know if I'm supposed to eat the skin. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> so let's get into it. I got to put my glasses on though because I can't see to read what it is. It's called a, oh, geez, a carom carambola. C-A-R-A-M-B-O-L-A, carambola. I don't know, but here it is. It's kind of odd, ain't it? I mean, are these star fruit? Is that what they call star fruit? Because both of them say caram carambola. Caram, yes, whatever. All right, so I'm just going to cut it because I don't know what else to do. I'm sorry. You know, growing up in the south and in the country like it used to be. Has it got a seed in it? I would say that's a starfish. A star... <laughs> no. <laughs> Not a starfish. I like starfish. Starfruit. <laughs> we didn't have stuff like this growing up at the grocery store. No. They just recently started getting all this wild stuff like starfruit. But it's pretty. Ain't it? Smell test, right? It doesn't really smell like anything. So, okay. I'm just gonna back this up so you can see it right there and then I'm just gonna slice it. I don't know. Am I supposed to eat that outside of it? I'm not going to. I'm gonna cut it off. Okay, well, it's got little seeds. Maybe I can save those little seeds and plant them. There's a little tiny T90 seed. I don't know. Get up. Come on now. Get off of there. Get off of there. I'm just peeling that little thing off right there. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't even know if you're supposed to do that, but I'm doing it. It's probably where all the nutrition's at, but since I don't know what I'm doing, it smells very sweet. I mean, like, it's very, a, it's a very soft scent. Let's take my glasses back off. It's a very soft scent, but I can't, like, place it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I just brushed my teeth. That probably wasn't a good idea, but it's crunchy and it's tart. It's not a whole lot of sweet, so it may not be ripe enough. Ugh. Oh, that wasn't a good bite. Oh, that brought a tear. You know, my last fruit, my hairy balls, <laughs> I think they were overripe. I don't think they were overripe. They were overripe. I'm wondering if these are not ripe enough because it's, there's no sweetness, it's only bitter. Is that what they're supposed to taste like? If so, I don't really like it. There's not a whole lot of flavor. It's just when that bitterness hits your tongue. Did y'all ever do those tests in school where you had to place things on certain parts of your tongue? <laughs> well, did you? You know, like one part of your tongue picks up saltiness or something, and one part picks up sweet, and one part picks up bitter. So you had to take something and, like, touch it over there. I mean, it's not terrible. It just doesn't have a lot of flavor. It kind of, sort of, gives me kiwi vibes, a little. But kiwi's sweeter. Yeah, it's just bitter. Ugh. Ugh. Let me taste of the other one and see if it's any more ripe. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for, ripe. I'm going to cut a little bit more off and get more in the center. I mean, it is pretty. It do be pretty. Look at that. That's going to be my thumbnail. <laughs> I'm just going to cut off a little section here at the top. Not go all the way around like I did last time. It's not terrible. 
It's just, it's bitter. That one had just a, just a pinch more sweetness to it. Let's put a little salt on it and see if that helps. Because I am one of those that puts salt on watermelon. Because I think the salt helps bring out the sweetness of the watermelon or something. I don't know the science behind it, but I just know that I like it. Let's try a little salt. It's still bitter, and now it's salty and bitter. <laughs> mm. All right, I'm going to walk Pen. I'll be back. Okay, now we're outside. Jeez, oh, Pete. It's not even 10 o'clock, and it already feels like 88 degrees. That's not a good thing. That is not a good thing. Mm -mm. But it is what it is. I'm not complaining, because it could be worse. It could already feel like 100 degrees. But 88 before 10 o'clock? <laughs> You know, I have a friend, Susan, who absolutely loves summer. She loves everything about it. She loves the heat. She loves the humidity. She has a pool, and I think she works uh, night shift. As far as I know, she's still on night shift, probably, because if she, she could, she can't hang on day shift. She's a night shift girl, always has been. And I think she works six at night to six in the morning. She works for 911. Let me get these off my head so my hair don't catch on fire. <laughs> I think she probably sleeps in her swimming pool because she loves summer and she loves her pool so much. So somebody posted something yesterday about looking forward to fall or, you know, cooler temps and blah, blah, blah. And she puts in there how much she's enjoying this heat and she wishes it would never leave. And I'm like, whoa, what is wrong with you? There's something mentally wrong with you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I told her, I know, baby, it's already hot, isn't it? I know, I know, it's already so very hot. But, I mean, the road's cool. It's still cool, you know? Anyway, is mama walking too fast? Come on, let's get over here in the shade. I told her to hush. Susan, I'm flopping around a lot today. Oh, God. Okay gonna follow her then. Alrighty. She looked at me like I am not going that way. Okay. Anyway, I said, you need to hush, girl, because it, it's the humidity. I say again. I say again. It's the humidity because I feel like I am breathing water. I, I mean, seriously, this, I feel like I'm gasping for air and I'm only taking in water. And she comes back with, the heat doesn't make her joints hurt. I'll give her that. Because winter do be hurting the joints, but the wild storms that come through in the summer also do be causing my joints to hurt, my back to hurt. So, I mean, she can't win that argument with me uh, too much because, yeah. Anyway, and we don't get that cold, you know? We might have a few days where it's around 30 and then it's gonna warm back up, that's our high, and then it's gonna warm back up to it's in the 60s and then it's gonna cool back down again so she's not gonna win that argument i'll be back i got company coming Hi. okay when i said i have company my boss and her little dog was out so i wanted to you know speak to her it's always nice to speak to the boss even though she's my friend and my neighbor she's still my boss got to stay on the you know i'm just kidding i adore her she is a dear, dear friend, and I would do anything for her. Anyway, moving on from whatever. Oh, Susan. I was talking about Susan. I, I'm not going to let her sway me to the dark side with this heat. Now, when I was much younger, I loved summer, but I had a pool. I had a pool at the house. I had a pool at, I had a, 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 a pool at the apartment. And I had a pool. I can't talk this morning. I had a pool at the townhouse. I mean, it was fine because I could lay by the pool or I could get in the pool. Not having a pool and, of course, being almost 59 years old, things just seem to be a little bit hotter. You ain't chasing no cars, girl. Well, anyway, moving on from that, I told Tommy, she said, what are you doing today? I said, trimming rosemary. <laughs> God be with me because I'm not a groomer, but 
I am going to trim her short under the arms, you know, her armpits. And I'm going to use a different guard for her legs. I, I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. But anyway, Tommy's uh, groomer, I think she'll be back in service in October. She either had a surgery or had an injury or something anyway, so she hasn't been working. And she comes to your house, so. She said she'll be back, and I said, well, maybe she can fix what I mess up today. I mean, I'm not terrible. Penny's not, like, gapped up or anything. It may not be the cutest cut in the world. I have the most trouble with the face because I can't do them scissors. You know them, the way they do them scissors so fast? I can't do that. Um, it's like cutting with my left hand or something. Even when I'm cutting with my right hand, it just don't work right. But anyway, I'm gonna gather my, gather my tools and I'm gonna go groom a dog. <laughs> Wish me luck, I'll be, I survived. <laughs> she don't look terrible. I'll insert a picture for y'all to look at her. But I did tell Joan once I started trimming, I didn't trim much, but I was basically taking the really long guard and I had my trimmer on the longest, you know, to where it wasn't cutting short. And I was just kind of going down her legs, just really more trying to catch a um, mat because it was barely cutting. But I told Joan, I said, or well, I asked, <laughs> I asked it her first. Did her IV go in her back leg when she had her surgery? Because she got fixed. And she said, no, uh, uh the front leg. And I was like, oh, she said, why? I said, because this is all gapped up. And I have not even started right there yet. So I just want you to look at it because I didn't do it. I mean, I'm not a groomer, but I didn't do that. <laughs> I didn't do that. <laughs> so anyway, I tried to just kind of, I don't know. I tried to do my best, you know. But... I, she's not terrible. I didn't give her a whole full grooming because she was just groomed a couple of weeks ago. I just more went and shaped her up a little more because like, you know, on a cocker's feet, how they're rounded when their hair's long. When I brushed it out, there was like longer and shorter. So I just took my scissors and trimmed that to where it's more smooth, you know, smooth, not smooth, but smooth, smooth move. Anyway, and then I shaved around her bottom because a, a dog with longer hair causes issues with clean up on aisle six. But anyway, um, I did not touch her ears because they looked good and I trimmed the new mats that have developed under her arms. And I told Joan, I said, this is gonna keep happening because of how long her hair is. You know, she's got the, let me just insert a picture. Uh, it's so hard to describe, hold on. Anyway, y'all can see by the picture, the rounded part around her feet that I was telling you about. And then her ears looked good too, so I didn't touch them. But then Joan said, can you help me take give her a bath? And I was like, sure. I thought she was gonna put her in the tub. And she said, oh no, we get in the shower. And I was like, what? I mean, what? I don't wanna, um, I don't wanna get in the shower. <laughs> But we went in there, and she has a, like, a hospital chair, a medical chair, sitting in the shower, and she puts rosemary on it, and that wild little crazy dog that can't be still, she just sat on that chair. Who is this dog? Anyway, she just sat there, and I put soap in my hand, and I hit the legs and underneath, and Joan hit the top. We were both bathing at the same time. And she's got a detachable hose, so it wasn't like spraying on us. And you can turn it off, well, ish. And so she kind of turned it off and laid it on this bench that's in the shower. And that, uh, we didn't get that wet, thankfully. I mean, I'm glad I took my shoes and socks off because 
my that would have been soaked but anyway um she did real good and we bathed her and then the worst part we tried to put the ear stuff in her ear she said the last time she put it in her ear she shook her head and it slung out and it got in her eye and then her eye got real irritated and yada yada then we tried to do it that didn't work mm -mm, no i think by then she was already done with the day i said look if i can find it I have got one of those bands that you put on their head that keeps their ears down like when you shower them. I was just real careful today because I couldn't find it. And I didn't spray the top of her ears. I just more washed out the bottom of the ears and then sprayed while I was holding the ear down. Anyway, it was exhausting, I'll tell you that. But I told her, I said, I, I'll bring one of those bands back over and we can already have it on and pull it back a little, put the stuff in, and pull that back over before she has a chance to shake her head. And then we can kind of massage it with that band on her head. It's like a headband type thing. So anyway, I'm going to try that. I said, but I think she's had enough for today because that was a lot. That was a lot standing up there trying to let me groom her and then bathe her. I said, she's going to need a very long nap after this. Anyway, she tried to pay me and I said, look, I'm not a groomer, you're not gonna pay me. And she said, well, how about, do you like steak? And I was like, do I? <laughs> and she said, well, how about whenever you wanna do it, uh, we can just order from Outback Steakhouse and you can just go pick it up and bring it back and we'll eat steak. And I was like, I like to eat. <laughs> I especially like to eat a good steak. Speaking of eating out, my best friend, Kim, she texted me earlier in the week and she said, hey, we're going to eat at the Marietta Fish Market. Would you like to go? I thought she said Saturday. And I said, sure, yeah, that's great. And she said, okay, it'll be between 6 and 6.30. I was like, okay, cool. So I didn't put it in my phone right away, first mistake. And then, like, I don't know, it was like the next day, I was like, oh, yeah, I need to put that in my phone so I don't forget. Not like I have other plans, but I want to be ready because I knew she would text when she was closer to the restaurant because I'm like uh, five minutes from it. And, uh, yeah, didn't say Saturday. She said Friday night. So I left last night and went to the grocery store to pick up some things. And I had just walked out of the grocery store and got in my car and I got a text from her husband that said, we're five away. And I was like, uh, what, what, uh, five away from what? So I called Kim and I was like, uh, there is a small problem. And she said, what? And I said, I thought it was tomorrow night. Yeah, I put it in my phone as Saturday night at six. Dinner with Kim. Yeah, not Friday night. And she said, well, you were at work when I texted you, so. And I was like, yeah, that sounds like a good excuse. I was at work. I said, I just thought, well, she'll text me. She did. Well, I mean, John did. But, yeah, I said, there's no way that I can go tonight because I'm just getting in my car at the grocery store. I've got to get home and unload the groceries. The animals haven't been fed. Penny needs to go out because I didn't take her out before I left. I wouldn't want to leave her for that long again. Anyway, I said, can we just do it next weekend? And she was like, yeah. So anyway, so we'll do it next Friday night. I said, look, next time text me and be like, go ahead and put it in your phone because you know how I am. And speaking of which, I have not changed the date from last night to Friday night. So I'm going to go do that now. Yeah, that's it for this one, I think. If anything exciting happens, then I'll try another video. But if not, that'll be it for today. Happy Saturday. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And remember that I love you and Jesus loves you. And I hope he's coming back soon because these people will be crazy. And I will talk to you on the next Tracy Tries, okay? I love you. All right, goodbye.